Welcome to our video on how to write bylaws. Bylaws are essential documents for any organization or group as they establish the rules and procedures that govern their operations. In this video, we'll provide you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to write effective bylaws that will help your organization thrive. Bylaws are an organization's written rules. Bylaws are important because they can help resolve problems or conflicts that arise. For example, if you have difficulty with an officer of the organization, then you can read the bylaws to see what steps you are authorized to take. Bylaws can also cover the following. The organization's name. The organization's purpose. Membership requirements. The titles and responsibilities of officers. How officers are assigned and how meetings will be conducted and when they will be held. To start, it is necessary to consult with most or all members who help to start an organization. Pull in at least two or three other people to give input and help write the bylaws. If you are starting a non-profit organization, for example, you will need a board of directors who will then give input and help write the bylaws. Working as a team ensures that all perspectives will be represented and accounted for in the bylaws. To properly draft bylaws, you need to understand the organization, its purpose, how officers will advance that purpose, and the future of the organization. To gather this information, meet with all members of the organization and talk about how they envision the organization's purpose and what jobs will be necessary to make that purpose a reality. Try to find bylaws for organizations similar to yours. You should never simply copy them, but they can serve as a useful guide when drafting your own. Call organizations like yours and ask if you can see a copy of their bylaws. Bylaws are typically written with section headings called articles and paragraphs called sections. This structure will make your bylaws more readable and standardized with other bylaws. This format also facilitates finding information on voting rules, committees, and other elements you may have questions about as the organization gets going. The These headings will be in all capital bold letters and numbered with Roman numerals. Center this heading on the page, for example, the first article would be titled, Article I, Organization. The second article would be titled, Article II, Purpose. For each section in every article, number them clearly and give a one to two word descriptor of the section. For example, you might write, section one, regular meetings. This would be followed by a brief description of the protocol for regular meetings. Then you'd write, section two, special meetings. This would be followed by a brief description of protocol for special meetings. Bylaws are legal documents, so you want to sound professional. When looking at a bylaws template or sample, study the language they use. Keep an appropriate tone and use understandable vocabulary. This is a brief statement that identifies the official name of your organization. You can also give the primary operating location of your office in this article. If your organization is not physically fixed to a location, if you are a primarily online group, for example, you do not need to include an address. This article will include your mission statement and vision for the organization. This can be a fairly basic one-sentence statement. You can make it more complex, if you so choose. This article will address several sections, including eligibility, who can become a member and how, dues, do members need to pay a fee to join? Do they need to pay a fee annually, classes of members, active, inactive, requirements for how to remain a member, and how to withdraw from membership? Th 
This article will address several sections pertaining to officers, including listing each office, the duties related to each office, how officers are nominated and elected, terms of office, how long they can serve in their position, and how to handle vacancies. This article covers several sections that outline how often meetings will take place, quarterly, semi-annually, where the meetings will take place, at the primary location of operation, and how votes can be cast for motions. These committees are specific to your organization, but they might include a volunteer committee, publicity committee, membership committee, fundraising committee, and so on. Include a brief description of each of these committees. Follow this section with a brief description of how committees can be formed. You should specify when a budget will be created, who will be responsible for keeping financial records, usually the treasurer, how expenses are approved, and what will happen to funds should the organization dissolve. Parliamentary authority is the set of guidelines that govern your procedures for how your organization is run. Many organizations abide by Robert's Rules of Order, a guide for how to run meetings in an assembly of people in order to ensure that voices are heard and taken into account. While the bylaws are intended to be useful and to accommodate many situations that might arise in an organization's life, from time to time they do require amendments. You should write into the bylaws what amendment process you will use. Including an amendment process will demonstrate that your organization is flexible and understanding of change. Your organization should protect itself against a personal or financial conflict of interest from the board of directors or other officer. Include an article that specifies what should happen if someone has a conflict of interest. Some state laws require a dissolution clause, or a statement that describes how the organization can be closed down. This can be a good idea even if your state does not require this clause, as it can help protect your organization in the event of infighting. After drafting your bylaws, it's crucial to have them reviewed by legal experts or industry professionals to ensure compliance with applicable laws and regulations. Once you have made any necessary changes, you should then present the bylaws to the organization's board or membership for approval. It's crucial to ensure that all members understand and agree with the bylaws before adopting them. Compile the articles into one document. Use consistent formatting throughout the document and use one font and one font size 11 to 12 point font is most readable. Include a title page with the name of your organization, the date of the last revision of the bylaws, and when the bylaws go into effect. You now have a comprehensive understanding of how to write bylaws for your organization. Remember to conduct research and planning, include all necessary sections, and have your bylaws reviewed and approved before adoption. By doing so, you'll create a set of effective bylaws that will help your organization thrive for years to come. Thank you for watching, and good luck in writing your bylaws.